Hello and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. In the last episode, we uh, got a few things done for the church. Got them above, uh, got them above of uh, uh, the respective thing. Now I just need to get um, some moss. And right now, the only way to get moss is from the doing things in the night. But I had no energy to uh, to. Uh, 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 to flowers to get moss. There are a few things I want to get, but yet yeah, there's also a few things I don't want to get at the same time. So what I will, looks like one of the things I want to get is uh, these books, but there's also something else that I want to get as well, which is bee domestication. So I basically, I got to choose which one I want. Uh, there was a way that I was thinking of last episode to do it, but I can't remember what it was now. Yeah, also, if uh, you want to have basic fertilizer, you just take the compost that you've made and just plant it like so. So this way you get something slightly better. This game is called Pete, but meh. That way, this way you're always, uh, like you have a, a, a better chance of getting slightly, and I mean slightly better stuff. Let's make sure I'm on the right one. Beats are up here. And those are right here. them here perfect these up and put one of these up just for the now uh, and since it's night time I'm actually going to go and find some flowers
no, that's not flowers. I can. I might not be able to though. Hey, I got more than nine. Let's put this over here. I want to drop it over here. Drop it over here, come on. There we go. Now I can go to the to that other guy and I can get a fishing rod. So I can then catch fish and then make fish fillet and then cook it to make quality fish fillet. Hey, sorry, I still don't have your cure yet. For you. No, no. Ah, look, it looks like, look like now you're officially one of us. I'll be glad to buy any fish you catch, and as soon as you prove yourself, you can sell you a nicer rod. Really? Awesome. Now let's see if I can catch any. Uh, fish to make fish fillet with. I do remember being told that the Black Springs might have information on a cauldron. Oh, 
I see it wants me to buy things from him in order to get the cauldron. Keep going there on this way. Kind of wish there was like a oh a way right here to go up. Oh well. Ooh. Let's extract the skull. Munch a little bit before working. That did not work out for me. Uh, let's take out the brain. That did not. Oh, it did, but it didn't. I'll just extract everything now that there's been a surgeon's mistake. made the body. I have nothing against you, maybe I can even help you. Hmm, you appear useless, but also harmless. Help me open this gate. I have these instructions, but apparently I need a key. My lock break won't work. Bring me the key and we'll talk. Maybe one, make one or find it, I don't care. Okay, I need something behind this door too, so I'll try to help. You can take these instructions. Leave. Instructions for the key. So let's do that. Active key and gatekeeper's key. Let's put the keeper's key down. Actually, you know what? Let's keep it on us. Just in case. Give him the key. Here's the key. At last, one step look closer. Okay, you go first. They'll see who's with us. I'll wipe those smug ducks off their faces. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about all of them. Everybody who lives in this cursed town and everybody who thinks they're better than me just because I... Just because they have everything and I have nothing, but soon I'll have everything. Whatever. Oh, I think I see what I'm looking for. Oh. Damn. You have died, okay. I need to go back and get that diary.
Mm, there's my bones. Oh, wow, just wow. How did he do it? I don't know. I just went back to my hut. Great, I should have used... I should be used to it. Life gives me lemons all the time. You're such a useless idiot, and yet you're immortal. That's totally not fair. I hate you. Pardon me? I hate you. Let me write this down. Graveyard Keeper can't die. Actually, I could use your help. Now that you're immortal, I have to see I decided that I don't want to die in this dungeon. What dungeon? Right up there. It was here even before the church and nobody knows how deep it goes. In ancient times, they nailed heretics to the walls and scorched the lights right before the ancient contract. Okay, how can I help? I have my sources, so I always know where to find what I need. And at this point in my plan for retribution, a lot of the things I need are in that dungeon. First, I need a bucket of blood and five bloody nails. You should be able to find them on one of the first levels where the pagans were tortured. Sounds like someone moaning for help. Are you there? Maybe, maybe not. This place hides many things. Not that I care, unless it has to do with my plans. Hmm, I should check. Holy guacamole. Indeed, what a pleasant surprise. I've been so desperate to see someone again. Are you alive? Do you need help? Let's just say I'm conscious. I'm glad to hear you so kindly offer help. My name is Gunther. There should be a lever on the right. Got it. Okay, I'm surprised it's still working. Now, would you be so kind as to hit me with your sword a couple times? Could you uh, first answer your question? Please hit me first. I haven't felt anything for so long. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Ooh, that's good. Best feeling I've had for many years. Now I'll be happy to answer your questions. Who are you? Like I said, I'm Gunther. Are you dead? Mm, that's a complicated question. Personally, I prefer to be called an undead person. But popular cultures were known as zombies. Why did he ask me to hit you? Oh, and my cursed situation, I can feel nothing. First, it was a nightmare, but then I found out I can still feel pain. It doesn't feel like pain, though, more like a gentle breeze, but still, it's all I have. I can hit you again if you like. That's very kind of you, but I must refuse. After so many years, your strikes are truly a pleasure. It'll be a couple of years before I can feel anything like it. And I have too little flesh on my bones to waste it. How did you become an uh, undead? Science, plus a little bit of magic. The old master made me. Actually, he made a lot of us. Did, uh, did my brother start working at the graveyard? No, I think there's only you. By the way, I'm the new graveyard keeper. Oh, then you should make more me more brothers. I'll be a big help for you. How can your brothers help me? Oh, they can do simple crafts for you. If you give them the right gear, they'll be able to gather resources for you and even transport them. What gear? Hmm, I believe one zombie should be buried under the rocks among the path to the forest. You can dig him up and examine his gear. Well, they'd be like, you sadly no, I am unique. Something went wrong with me. I am. I was too smart. That's why the old master chained me here. I didn't fit in. I cannot chain you. I've been chained up here for too long. My flesh is too rotten. Plus, I can't like it, like it here. How can I make you undead? Oh, it's quite simple. You can find a resurrection table blueprint on the rack to your left. There should also be a couple bottles of the main resurrection ingredient in but you can make more at the alchemy desk. Do you know the recipe? Well, the second ingredient is blood. I'm not sure about the first, but I think it's some kind of powder. Resurrection table. And zombie juice. Oh, I got a health potion, or a heal potion. What can I find yet? Uh, okay. Okay. Lentil seeds. Ooh. So this is a dungeon. Yeah, a tortured dungeon it looks like. No, my inventory's full. Damn it. Um let's get rid of these. There we go. Now what do I need here? Five skulls, ten skulls. How 
many skulls do I have currently? I have three skulls, so not enough to actually do anything. Okay, so... Give the uh, the witch over at the uh, the swamp the heal potion since I have one. This bridge comes in so handy. Give her the health oh. potion. Hmm, looks good. Let's give it a try. Oh, now I remember I'm Clotho. I remember where I hid my cauldron. Okay, so now I'm back. So what do you need from old Clotho? I got some good stuff, you know. You won't find potions as good anyway these days. Uh, I need your help. I need to help that merchant. He told me that he knew you well. He used to buy love potions from you with his friend and the priest. Oh, I remember they were so sweet, but... They were brothers, as I recall, so how can I help him? He ate some hank of grass and lost his sense of taste. He thinks he's cursed. Sounds like a curse laid on him by another witch, so it'd be most unprofessional of me to help him. In the old times, we used to help out in situations like that, but the but then the whole market collapsed and now it's forbidden. Only a witch who placed a curse on him can craft a potion to remove it. So there's no cure for him? Let's see, I've told you the basics. And you're no witcher, there's a fancy word for what you are. Chemist. Oh, that's right. So you can grab the potion from and I'll tell you the recipe. Just put salt and health solution together. Thank you. Uh, let's see, what do you have? Sapling, bay bush sapling. I'll take a bay bush sapling. Oh, I can't. My inventory is full. Whoops. So she's the one that gives me the apples and bushes. Uh. 
Can I make fish fillet? No, it does not seem like I can. But you know what? Let's go up here. I think it's up here. Oh, never mind. I got something to deal with first. Let's extract the skull. Extract the blood. Extract the fat. Extract the brain. And I screwed up. Well, not me, but the game said I screwed up by giving me the uh, surgeon surgicals mistake. Surgeon surgeon's mistake. So this is another one now, we'll have to burn. And the first time my guy's actually tired. I will not be able to make him go anywhere above uh, half energy now. Until I sleep, anyways. I'm so refreshed. Alright, now let's go fishing, because I need some fish fillets. Yeah, I should also dig up this guy. This must be... So like, I should start looking for that zombie. Yeah, I'll do that. Start building sawmill. I'll just carry this guy over here. Big tree sawmill. strength for that. Yeah, so right there's one place that I can fish. And up here is another place. I'm not sure how fishing works exactly.
Yeah, I'm not sure how this works at all. Do I have to wait until it uh, goes completely under? I guess it's when uh, it, it plops. A bream. Okay, so I can catch a bream there. Yeah, so I guess when it plops, that's when you can catch it. But what about that fishing fishing spot right there? I don't have that area unlocked, damn it. So I can catch gudgeon there. Whatever gudgeon is. Topsy table for now. And I 
think I'm gonna call the episode here, so thank you all for watching, and hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.